Well, I'm ready, if you're ready. Let's do the fifth tree out of letters. It's Noon, Samik, and Ayan this time. We're starting off with the Noon, which also has a final form. And remember to say the letters you're writing it, Noon. And then here comes your Noon, Noon Sofit is the final form of a letter. It's Noon Sofit. Excuse me while I grab some more ink from my quill. <laughs> Noon Sofit can also be written just as a straight line. You don't have to put that little crook at the top if you don't feel like it. And then we'll practice with the calligraphy pen, which gives it a little bit more of that 3D effect. So you can really kind of kind of see that the letters really are building something, and building an image in your mind building a feeling within yourself have you had dreams yet from practicing these letters nun vav and nun sofit and that's how we spell the letter nun in a word Let's grab the gematria from this. We have noon at a value of 50. We have vav at a value of 6. And noon sofit with the value of 50 for a total of 106. Now, noon sofit does have a different gematria value attached to it that. I haven't been instructed to use yet by my Hebrew teacher, so I'm not going there with it. But in the future, as we go deeper, we can get into that. But for now, it's always best to just go as simplistic as possible with a new language. Get the very, very basics down. So here's Samik, one of my favorite letters to draw. It's a circle with a little tail at the top left. Samik. Samik. And I'm leaving all the good and the bad and the ugly too in my practice. You can see all of the imperfections, how each and every time I write the letter it's slightly different than the time before, but still beautiful, each and every one in its own right. So I don't want you to feel like if your letters are looking sloppy, I don't want you to feel bad about it, you know? Don't feel bad about it. Just keep going. Summit. And then we'll spell it out. Samik. Mem. And Kaf Sofit. Samik has a value of 60. Mem with a value of 40. Kaf Sofit with a value of 20. For a total of 120 for the word Samik. Now we can draw it in ballpoint and the final two that I show you, I'm going to draw it in the opposite direction and you'll see how the end result is not as beautiful as it should be. So it's really kind of important to draw the letter from right to left. Even though we're writing left to right, you're still, I mean, there's little rules about writing. I mean, they can be bent and broken a little, but I also want you to notice too, my iron is certainly not perfect. That bottom line is supposed to go a little bit more straight like that.
It's iron. That's a little bit more of a perfect iron there, I think, as far as from what I remember being taught. Iron. Iron. And this one, see how I did that? That should not be there. It shouldn't look like that. It shouldn't be closed in the center and touching. So like I said, I'm leaving the good and the bad and the ugly in there so you can see what not to do as well as what to do, you know, and just enjoy the process. So we have iron, yod, nun sofit. That spells the word iron. Iron has a value of 70. Yod is 10. Nun sofit is 50. For a total of 130 gematria value for iron as a word. And then we'll just do a little bit of ballpoint practice, which is probably where most of us are going to start. That's where I started. Just make sure that you don't write these letters standing on a line on lined paper. Just don't. It's, it's the way I started and I wish I had known better when I began. Just notice how these letters are hanging from a scribed line. I